Hi, I'm Mary Grew, and right now I'm going to show you how to make quick and easy oven fries. And we're going to talk about a few things to know about for safety in the kitchen. First and foremost is cleanliness. Keep your body clean, keep your hands clean, keep your hair back, your counter surface is clean, your sink clean, everything clean. So I'm going to start off before I even chop or do anything with washing my hands. I'm using soap, which I think is very important, and I'm going to dry off. So right now I'm going to show you how to properly slice a potato so you don't cut your fingers. So I have some scrubbed and dried organic resin potatoes, and all we're going to do is cut them into wedges like this. The key is just keeping your fingers tucked, okay? So the knife is going to go against my knuckle. See how I'm against my knuckle? I can't cut myself that way. I can do anything I want to do. So I'm going to give myself a flat surface, okay? Now I'm going to cut my potato in half, again, against my fingers. And I'm going to turn it flat again. Actually, I want this way because I want to see the wedges. So since we're making potatoes, now I have a nice wedge. Very easy surface to work with. And we're making these oven fries. So again, just have all your slices be the same width. This one's a little thicker, so it's going to cook a little differently. Okay? So we have them all about the same size. And um, this you could just leave as it is, but I see a brown spot here, so I'm going to use my finger and get rid of it. Just cut it in half, toss them onto my sheet. Repeat the same thing. This time I know I'm holding it differently. I'm just holding it like this. These are so small and they're actually pretty flat. They're slightly rounded, but they're pretty flat. So I'm going to give them a surface. And I'm working my whole knife from the tip of my knife all the way through. Like that. Let the equipment that you use in the kitchen help you. Don't fight tip down, drag it across. Okay. Using this parchment line sheet. And you can see this is pretty fast. I can do this really fast. See the brown spot? Okay. You want to trim it away. Keep your fingers tucked. Keep them away from you. That's not good eating. It's not good for you. You want them all the same size. That way they'll cook evenly. And I've got a lined, rimmed sheet. I don't like to ever cook directly onto the aluminum sheet like that. Um, and it has a lot to do with laziness, but also with some the reason that it's a little healthier to cook right onto the sheet. Okay, just like that. And you take some oil, whatever you like. I'm going to be using some extra virgin olive oil. And it won't take much, maybe barely a tablespoon. Okay. I'm going to take some nice gray sea salt here. And potato takes salt, so watch it. I've got about a teaspoon here of some coarse gray salt. And if you like, you can also use some freshly ground pepper. So I'm going to do at least two sheets here. So this one I'll do with pepper, and the other one I'll do without. And that's it. And then I'm going to this. And you can see I didn't worry about spreading it all over each of the potatoes. I'm just going to toss. Um, another thing you can do here to have this be even less fat is you can use a cooking spray. That works really well too. And then what I like to do is stand them up so they'll be on their skin, skin side. It also makes it pretty easy and quick this way. So I'm going to bake these in my preheated, very hot oven. I've got it at 400 right now, but you could also do these at 425, and just until they're golden. And that takes anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes. So they've been cooking a little bit over 10 minutes, so let's, let's check them out now. Okay, good. Come here, and I'll show you. They're turning a nice, rich, golden brown. Okay, you can just give the pan a little bit of a shake. I have asbestos fingers. I wouldn't necessarily recommend doing it this way. But you can see they're getting nice and golden and crisp. So these need a few more minutes. They're still pretty fresh. And I have this on a convection. They're sizzling. They're getting a little tender. We're going to go ahead and switch these, though. So I'm going to take the top and put it on the bottom and vice versa. And I'm also going to rotate my pan. All oven 
have hot spots, so you just have to know you're up. So we're going to give these another 10 minutes or so, and we'll be good to go. It's been another 10 minutes, so let's check on the potatoes. Ah, yeah. Nice and done. They are golden, and they're crisp on the outside, and they're soft on the inside. So that's perfect. Just what you're looking for. So always make sure you turn off the oven. That's the first thing you do when you're finished cooking. Always turn off your equipment. And we have a nice, freshly grilled um, organic burger right here that we've put with some nice grilled organic onion and some greens from the garden and some beautiful edible flowers. So, I don't know about you, but I can't think of a better meal 